everybody, this is Michelle with Mr. and Mrs. Walker's Designs in Mr. and Mrs. Walker's Attic on Etsy. I just wanted to come on and show you um, some things that I've hauled this weekend. Um, one of them is a gift haul. Uh, I got a bag of kind of like a grab bag of goodies from um, somebody this week and then they just gave it to me. And then I also have a thrift store haul. Um, so I'm going to do the thrift store haul first because it's pretty small and get it out of the way. So um, I picked up this, uh, the new Webster's Quotation Dictionary. It's in really good condition. I thought it, if I decided to take it apart, I thought the cover might make a good journal cover. Um, the books were half off, so I paid $1.50 for it. And it's just got a really, a really lot of really cool uh, quotes in it. So... I can either, you know, type them up or if I don't, it's published in 1987. If I decide not to tear it up, I can just type them up or something. But I always have a hard time coming up with words and phrases and quotes and stuff like that if I want to put them on any type of project. So I thought this would be really, really cool to have. So there's that. Then I found these really cool, or my husband actually found these really cool um, playing cards. I don't know if there's a full deck here or not. It uh, doesn't really matter to me. I just thought, just thought they were really pretty. The roses on there, and then this one has little lilies. So I got those. They come in a really cool box. Uh, I don't know how. Oh, 2003. So they're actually not that old, but I like the way they look. So I got those. And then I picked up this. These look pretty old. And I think there's probably more than 52 in here because they're hard to get out. But actually, yeah, there's two. They have, there's just this deck that looks like this. They got a nice patina on them, and there's this deck that looks like this. Anyway, I thought they make good altered, altered cards. Or um, actually, I think they some of these would be prettier to like wrap lace around or whatever. So, I picked those up, and then I picked up some wide. Uh, it says flexi, so I assume it's elastic. Um, yeah, ideal for knit, so it's stretchable. One and three quarter inch wide, two and a half yards of wide lace hem facing, which I love to use, different things. And then I picked up this, and I was like, there's got to be some cool stationery in here because this is really, a really nice, I'll pull y'all up a little bit. Uh, I love this box. I'll probably reuse this box for the store or something, put stuff ephemera in or something. But it still has the the ribbon. It says ambassador. And it's just this really cute um little angel with a rose. And there's several sheets in here. I hate to love the envelopes too. I was gonna see if there was yeah, I guess I'll just take this off. I don't know. I guess not. I guess there's not. Looks like it's about half of the angel and then it's half blank. So that's pretty cool. So there's that. And then here's the envelopes that go with. And they have a nice. Um, hold on, sorry. They have a really nice patina starting on the edges. So. I thought that was pretty cool. So there's that. And then I picked up this book. It didn't have a price in it, so I asked the ladies, and since all the books were half off, uh, this one was only $2, but it has got some beautiful, beautiful watercolor, and it's watercolor weight paper as well. I mean, it's really thick paper, but just some beautiful watercolor uh, images in it and this beautiful calligraphy and so I plan on taking this one apart because I think this would just make 
Look, the mushrooms. I just think this would make beautiful tags or journal cards. Yeah, and then this would make a really nice journal cover. It's kind of squishy on the front. You yeah, know, it's got padding in it. So that was my thrift store haul. So I, oh, I was going to look at the, hold on. See if I can find a copyright in this one. Copyright, oh, it's in Roman numerals, so I have no idea without looking it up. But it's it's a Gibson, you know, like the, the stationery um, company, Gibson, from Connecticut. So anyway, so that's what I got at the thrift store today. It's a new thrift store. I've never been in it in downtown Fort Smith. So I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to start showing you what I was given. So this, I thought, wow, these are interesting boxes. I was like, what in the world is in here? Because it's got like an old label. Looks like an old label. There it is. And so I was just like, I couldn't figure out what in the world. But it is a bunch of, the box is really cool in its own. But it's just a bunch of these little, sorry for the glare, these little birds. It's a dozen in here of these little felt birds that you like put on wreaths or I don't know, whatever. So there's those. So I have a box of red. And then this is a box of white. So I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with these. I don't think I'm going to keep them. Um, I think the box would be really cool. Maybe there's two dozen. Oh, there's two dozen. Never mind, there's a lot in here. So these boxes are just really cool, I thought. So I may just sell them like this or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. And then, they gave me, like, grab bags full of stuff. They had start. somebody had started a little bird's nest looking thing out of some beads and eyelash trim. So that was in there. But just some fabric remnants and some lace remnants. Uh, a lot of bird stuff. A lot of it's birds. There's some ocean it's just a hodgepodge. Uh, there's some really pretty embroidered stuff in here, though, like this. Somebody had an embroidery machine. So there's that. Some pretty bird. Or no, this is seashell. Seashell canvas fabric. And there's some more um, embroidered. Broadery, I should say. Um, a lot of it, and some, oh, this is really cute. They were making something, somebody was making something with this. And it, because it already has the interfacing, the fusible interfacing, or whatever, um, heat and bond, sorry, heat and bond on the back already. So that will be handy in case I want to use that. Just to stick down, there's another piece, a couple pieces of it. There's this beautiful piece that somebody cut something out of, but it still has some pretty rose motif on it. And it's got some fusible batting on the back. Some beautiful bird and dragonfly fabric. Some more of that, some more embroidery. More embroidery. It's really pretty. I'm just going to have to decide. I haven't, like I said, haven't yet decided how I'm going to kind of divvy this up because I'm not going to keep all this stuff. So a bow embroidered, embroidered on. This is like satin. That's really pretty. So there's that bag of stuff. Okay. And I have this bag of stuff, and this is just all sheer scarves, like vintage sheer scarves. There's this one. There's like a rose color. There's like, this one's got a, like a print on it. It's kind of coming off, though. 
There's that. There's red. There's blue. There's some handkerchiefs that have been cut into. So there's that one. Ah. <laughs> there's one that's been cut in half. It's really pretty, though. Really pretty. There's this one. This one feels like silk, actually. It's got a monogram on it. So all of these are pretty much plain. There's one here that's got a ribbing to it. And then this one has got some, like, it's not lace. It's, it's like flocked on or something. Let's see that. So there's that one. So there's that bag. I don't know what I'm going to do with that either. But I'll figure something out. I know I will. So then... I have a bag full of different color, this is called Rainbow Elastic Plus, 50 yards of colored elastic for knitting, sewing, and crochet. And I have got unopened packages, opened packages, I, I've got a bunch here, so I probably will be putting this in the shop because I have, I don't think I would use that, especially not that much. It also has some clothing that looks like it's been um cut up which i like to use for different things so this denim beautiful beautiful denim um with some lace on the end so that's some beautiful lace on there and a piece of black velvet I have no idea what I'll do with that. <laughs> and then I have this interesting piece. Now to me, this is like a snippet roll. So it is a piece of burlap and then there's some muslin on here and then they started pinning on fabric. There's some of that rose fabric. There's some trim, some more trim and then they hand sewed this branch on and it's like plastic branch or, or stem from you know like silk flowers fake flowers <laughs> and then there's this crocheted piece here and here's a little bird and they just they started somebody started this and didn't finish it so i plan on finishing it and then i think it would make a beautiful journal cover like on top of something on top of a hardback or something like that so so that is that and that is a very interesting piece i also got a bunch of different crochet lace or laces this piece here that'd be great to cut out clusters got this piece of lace pretty common and this piece big piece here it's got some sheen to it so I have that I have this really wide piece of black lace I have this piece of leather <laughs> I told you it was a hodgepodge piece of leather that would look nice on a page or on the cover I've got this mauve lace that this is really pretty i don't know what this came off of. i don't know if it came off a piece of clothing or i don't know but it's just really it's beautiful beautiful green ivory color got this i think somebody did this something glued i think they hot glued it hot glued some trim onto some lace so that's an interesting piece and then this lace this is really pretty i like this because it's this would make a great pocket because it's double it's uh finished on both sides and that that's really pretty okay more lace and this huge look at that this huge roll of flesh colored uh, lace beautiful 
And then this, this is really pretty too. This is finished on both sides. And it's got these pink, little pink flowers in it. And there's quite a bit of it too. So I have that. And I have another piece of that. Actually, I think, oops, I think this is, no, it's the same. It's kind of mauve and purple. It's both. So that's another piece of that. Really pretty. And then I have a bag full of like polyester cording and um, this is like boning or some of some sort or collar. I think it's for collars or waistbands. And these are those little pointy things you put in collars to keep the corners down. That type of vintage, that type of thing. And then I have another bag of all different sizes of elastic. I already have a bunch of elastic, so I don't know what I'll do with this, but I'll figure something out. Oh, and then there's this really pretty, this is really pretty. Look at that. It's all, it's like hand crocheted. That's like Rick Rack. Yeah, that is Rick Rack. So, oops, sorry. Look at that. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. It says Rick Rack wound around the center and then pink crochet around it. That is just gorgeous. I don't know what I'll do. I'll figure something out. So there's that. I'm, I'm still digging. <laughs> this is just some more elastic. The purple, just some of this wired purple ribbon. Um, this is like an old medicine bottle full of different types of sequins. Let's see those. It's about, I don't know, a third full. There's some Velcro, a so sew on Velcro. I don't know if I showed you, <laughs> sorry. And then this is like a headband. This would make a cute belly band or border or something when you take it apart. There's that. Two packages of sequins from Dollar Tree. So there's those. If you get it to focus, it's hard to. There's those. I'm still digging. There's some more elastic, <laughs> half inch. More elastic, two and a half inch. That doesn't look like it's two and a half inch. Oh no, it's one inch. Two and a half yards, sorry. And I've got five of these styrofoam ornament ball balls. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know where that came from. Michael's maybe? So I have these. I know I won't keep these. So that's it. Those are my my gift haul and my um, thrift store haul from today. My gift haul was like Thursday. So anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please head over to my Etsy store to see what's uh over there and um i should be adding some stuff i'm working on some kits right now um some floral kits and i'll probably be adding some of this stuff so um please like comment and subscribe 